shit. The machine must have overloaded. Cool it, Jack. Yeah. Cool it, cool it, cool it. The crystal's still warm. Try not to wig out. Try not to wig out on me, Jack. Just calm down. Calm the fuck down! His lungs have stopped ventilating. Okay. Breathe, Jack. Breathe. In with the good air. Out with the bad air. This tunnel feels like it's going to collapse. In breathe, any Jack. I said breathe. That's not being calm. Stop with the negative emotions. The negative thoughts. It's not good. Just... What the hell is that? Hey, hey, look, hey, check it out, it's a Stargate. <laughs> oh, looks like something's oh, yeah. removed from it. Like it's foreskin. I shouldn't have said that. Odd. It looks like it's full mm, of No, it doesn't. <laughs> Not very good writing on that part. Alright, time to more pushy buttons. Oh, that's the wrong button. <laughs> Stargate activated. Oh snap. Jack. It's the Yithians! I I keep forgetting how big these these guys are. Holy cow. Uh, 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 uh. February 6th, 1922. This is, uh, 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 it's quite been a... more than six years... Six years. ...since I entered that strange house in Boston. <laughs> but to me, it was just five months ago. Amnesia, the doctors called it. A new indie game on Probably Steam. Probably brought on by acute mental stress. <laughs> I remember investigating the far side of the library. There was screaming. According to the police report, uh, they had searched the house for hours. Year planner. Only to find me later collapsed on the floor. When my eyes opened and I spoke, my colleagues recoiled in fear. There was something unnatural in my voice and blank gaze. <laughs> where I was diagnosed with severe schizophrenia. As it became clear that I presented no danger to either myself or others, I was released from the asylum's care. I have learned little of my activities in the six years that followed. The accounts I've been able to piece together now, show much of my I, time was spent in Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think some of these books are real. I maintain a fanatical and I would, infatuation. I would love to read some of these books. Delving I would love to read the Necronomicon, like just out of curiosity. Dark legends, often in languages unfamiliar to my own. <sighs> when I reawakened <sighs> five months ago, uh, uh, exactly uh, uh, six years after entering oh, the house What's that language called? It's not a real language, was but... Left of what had been a in, 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 What is it called? Or at least what I believe myself to be. Return to normal life Run. has been a painful process. In recent days, my dreams have been I can't remember what it's called. Fuck landscapes. It. And I've become fearful of my own reflection. I am beginning to remember things from that day, more than six years past. <gasps> like the Yithians! Jack Walters. Jack Walters. Hello, Mr. Walters. My name's Arthur Anderson. Oh, God, this I voice actor. Finding a missing person. I love this game. I, I love this game, but job. admittedly it does have its faults, and head. one of them is the voice uh, acting. Hold on. At least in some parts. Look at that. What a weird way for smoke to flow.
What am I, a stripper that he's paying what me in exactly ones? Do you want from me, Mr. <laughs> It's one of my store managers, you see. Brian's his name. Brian Burnham. Nice lad. Nice lad. He disappeared recently from the first national grocery store in Innsmouth. It actually exists, Innsmouth? by the way. I never heard Not of Innsmouth, it. but the store. Uh, it's a small fishing town on the coast. Not far from Arkham. Uh, I'd like to see you in person before you leave. Hold on there a minute. I didn't agree to take this... Uh, what the hell? I'll be here all day anyway. Which is, I find that statement amusing because technically this investigation would take more than just a day, so he's looking a lot more than what he's going to be doing today. Night. I have a new client, Mr. Arthur Anderson, the regional manager. Blah, blah, blah. It appears that the First National Grocery in Innsmouth was recently burglarized, and its manager, one Brian Burnham, is missing. From what I have been able to gather, Burnham is something of a young rogue. A friend of the family, Mr. Anderson, gave him the job as a favor. Burnham is lo uh, looking like the prime suspect for the robbery, but there are a few things that don't add up. Not to Anderson, and not to me. For instance, why would Burnham force an entry into the store when he had a full set of keys, free access to the cash register, and the combination to the back office safe? To misdirect any investigation, if that was his plan, why did he disappear? Hmm. Following my conversation with Mr. Anderson, I found out what I could about the ancient town of Innsmouth. For generations, the crumbling seaport and its people have been shunned by neighboring communities. Outsiders are unwelcome there, and there are superstitious tales of a strange element in the town's oldest families. They are of mixed blood, so, they, so the stories go. Whatever that's supposed to mean, the usual hick town prejudice, no doubt. Usual hick town prejudice. I, I'm not sure, but I think that's a, that part is a direct quote from the novella. After making a brief visit to Innsmouth, my client came away distressful of the lo local authorities. He isn't buying their line that Burnham robbed the place and wants to know what happened to him. Only one bus goes to Innsmouth, and tomorrow afternoon I'll be on it. It feels... Oh, I lost my place. Good to have a purpose after fight. What is that sound? I got people breathing over my diary thing. Oh, screw it. Urgh. Now, I I haven't read the novella. I'm a bit of a light reader. But I have listened to audio versions of it and radio drama adaptations by the H.P. Lovecraft Historical Society. So, while this does very closely resemble The Shadow Over Innsmouth, there are some differences. And I'll be pointing them out along the way. Why? Because I'm a pretentious literary snob. <laughs> Okay, but uh, but yeah, I don't know. For some of my fellow literature freaks, they they might find it interesting. You can already tell that I'm one of those people that like I read the books of Harry Potter and then I just sit there in the back of the theater watching the movies, bitching about how the book is better. A visit to the old town. From the start of your investigation in Innsmouth, you will have the... <sighs> Innsmouth, February 7th, 1922. Driver, how far to the stop? Almost there. I'll drop you at the town square. The 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 Why the lock the gates? Keeps out wanderers looking for work. The one those folks like that interfering with our affairs. Is the bus oh yeah, this was during the Depression, wasn't it? Aye, and we prefer it that way. Not many come to Innsmouth. But what about trade? Surely the port needs business. Innsmouth has the means to look after her. Yeah. <laughs> he sounds like Simon's, Simon's voice of Warwick Davis, almost. And there's a headless statue. <laughs> kind of random. <laughs> this is it, stranger. End of the line. In more ways than one. <laughs> okay. Let's 
see. When did you get off? Could you direct me to the first national grocery store? I hear they have a shop in town. I don't know nothing about that. Oh, well, you see, I'm looking for a young lad called Brian Burnham. I'm a friend of the family. He worked in the store. Yeah. Don't know who you're talking about, fellow. Yeah? Well, screw you! Let's see now, uh... Chit-chat to him's gonna get me no place fast. Hmm. I wonder where the first national grocery store could possibly be. Hmm. <laughs> eh, yeah. It's kind of silly when you think about it. Ah! You moved. This is the, uh, 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 what's this place called? The Wait? No, not the... No, not the way, uh, uh, the Gilman house! That's it, Gilman! There's a lot of subtle humor in the, in the shadow over Innsmouth, like, there's lots of, like, demonic fish stuff going on in this story, so there's lots of really fish and maritime based names in the thing. For example, this is Mr. Gilman. Evening. Hi. My name's Jack Walters. I'm just visiting. You don't say, sir. Gilman. Charlie Gilman. I run this here hotel of an evening. Mm -hmm. <coughs> you got any rooms? I'd not rightly know that for sure. All habits cleaning rooms at present. Them's from out of town can leave a horrid mess. <laughs> uh, I don't want to know what he means by horrid mess. Talking to this fellow is getting me nowhere. And he's more than <laughs> such creepy. <laughs> if I need a room and I'm desperate, then I'll come back. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's beginning to look a lot like fishmen everywhere I go. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Can't help you. <laughs> Let's see now. <laughs> this is the First National. Now, there's a police officer guarding this alleyway, and I don't know where he is, is, so I'm gonna have to wait for him to, oh, there he is, hey, sir, wanna talk? Evening, constable. Certainly, I'm busy, no time for fuckers, strangers. I'm Detective Jack Walters, I've been hired by the regional manager of the First National. And I'm constable, and I'm the law around these parts, Did he just flip me off? I'm not talking to you, now get lost. Get lost. This is the place about. Move along. That fellow was just stringing me along with a lot of nothing about nothing. So now it's time to just wait for him to obliviously turn around and do this. Sneaking gets more exciting later, but right now it's just funny. Ah! Don't interrupt my sneaking! Okay, I think I need to be in here. <laughs> hmm, he thinks I was. Oh, wrong. This is where I need to get to. Let's see. Oh shit! I don't know if he's gone past yet or not. Um, shit, um, do I risk it? He make Jack makes the oddest sound when he sneaks. You know what, I'm gonna risk it. Uh, uh, yes! Uh. It's unlocked. <laughs> well, yeah, the scratch mar marks. Uh, I don't like this part. I don't like this part. Uh, yeah, yeah. I am pushing it with my head. No, because I am a manly man. Uh, uh, oh my god. Oh, I'm having. Fl 
Oh, I, I, I have to do more of this shit in the uh, Attack of the Fishman level. It's gonna get intense later. <gasps> uh, uh, a minute. Oh, yes, I am aware of the medikits. Medikit. Okay, trap door. I need to get into the trap door. <laughs> oh, check this out. Door's been busted open. And here's... There's a bottle of bootleg rum. And now... Handle. Ah! Okay, now I need to get in here. I need to get in here. Oh, I need to, uh, I need to use the inventory. Can I come on, come on, come on, come on. What's n the, the constable is busting down the door. We got to get down there. We got to get down there. Just don't look up. We just got to get down there. Get down. Oh! <gasps> Bummer. FML. Okay. Look, another medikit. And a book. Let's see, what is this? Check this out. Well, there was a lad in a fishing town. The old man said to me, You can spend your life, your jolly life, just sailing on the sea. You can search the world for pretty girls till your eyes are weak and dim. But don't go searching for a mermaid, son, if you don't know how to swim. Cause her hair was green as seaweed, her skin was blue and pale. Her face it was a lark of art. I love that 